angles of attack and stalls are in the test. One of the most missed questions has to do with angle of attack and stalls. Let me just say it plain and simple. A stall, which is when the aircraft cannot produce enough lift, always occurs when the critical angle of attack is exceeded. If you remember this, you will always answer these questions correctly. Now, let's cover some terms. The angle of attack is the acute angle between the relative wind and the cord line of the wing. A stall is an aerodynamic condition in which an aircraft exceeds its given critical angle of attack and it's no longer able to produce the required lift for normal flight. In piloting, a stall is only defined as the aerodynamic loss of lift that occurs when the airfoil, which is the wing, exceeds its critical angle of attack. Stalls depend only on angle of attack, not airspeed. However, the slower an airplane goes, the more angle of attack is needed to produce lift equal to the aircraft's weight. As the speed decreases further, at some point this angle will be equal to the critical stall angle of attack. An increase in load factor will cause an aircraft to stall at a higher airspeed. So in a stall, the aircraft can no longer produce lift, and we know what that means. Stalls depend on angle of attack and not speed. However, the critical angle of attack changes depending on speed and load. So the heavier the aircraft, the higher the speed needs to be as to not exceed the critical angle of attack and avoid a stall.